Oh my god. Okay. I think you're digging into the flesh. <laughs> the quick? The what? The quick. I explained to you what a quick is in a dog. <laughs> I think you have them. I pulled into the kitchen to prepare myself a meal, and then I remembered I can't do that. So now you might be thinking, how are you going to back out? Well, let me demonstrate. This is basically no vision. I'm doing this entirely by feel, spatial awareness, my senses. Hold on. My senses are monitoring the situation. Do you see that? I'm so talented. Are they cheesy? They're so, it's literally just like one giant, like, loop. Mm. Do you see this? That's my ideal meal right there. I do not understand how you can wake up and eat a cupcake. It's sweet like a pancake, like a breakfast food. It's sweet like a cupcake. And milk, Ugh. Milk is normal in the morning. For someone that has the bathroom issues that you have, you'd think you might wake up and like sip some tea. My tea's your, boiling. Get your belly ready for what you're about to do to it today. I'm training my stomach. For what? You can do this. <laughs> the guy in that handicap symbol is like laying down the left. I feel like it's normally upright. See? We're back at Harry's. Our favorite restaurant. Harry's Cafe. I embarrassingly... Did you not focus on my mustache? I embarrassingly ordered... It wasn't embarrassing. half pound six cheese patty melt. Nothing embarrassing That's about embarrassing that. That's embarrassing to say out loud. I bought new shirts. I did too. We're both wearing them. Aww. Uh -huh. Mine are so comfortable. I know you showed his ears. Those are toddler clothes. Of course it's like a toddler. That was exciting. This is going to be relaxing. Yeah, it's, again. it's always better to get here early. We're at a concert in the park. An orchestra. Let's try to push you into the light. Okay. Ready, uh. Again. What? We got a cannoli for me and a chocolate milkshake for Shane. Shane's milkshake is really good. Like my new shades. I found a revolutionary way to get home. It's secret. It's like that hidden passage from Hogwarts to uh, Diagon Alley. Or yeah, no. Yeah. No, it's when they use the it's from a street in London the to Marauder's Map. Oh. To get to the pub. you're doing this sort of a no the pub. The pub. Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade. Is that a place? Yep. The hidden underground. There's Are you a talking light. about the Shrieking Shack? Yeah. The Shrieking Shack. There's a light underground from the Weeping Willow. Hogwarts, I mean, Whomping Willow. Hogwarts to Hogsmeade. Harry puts on the invisibility float to go there yeah. in the snow. Anyway, I found a path like that, and I'm taking us home that way. <laughs> 
I have about zero sense of direction. Luckily, Shane has an insane sense of direction. It's very impressive and he uses it to get us everywhere that we go. And I really just like, I zone out. I don't really know where we've gone. I hope my cannoli doesn't melt. I got two cannolis. Didn't say that earlier because I was embarrassed, but I did get two. But I only ate half of one, so now I have one and a half left. So if you take it all away, another fourth. <laughs> what? I'm doing one of those problems where it's like Jim has six apples. He eats four. And he gives has, away one to his friend. How many does he have left? Anna has nine to nine. How many friends does Anna have? <laughs> What, do you see what we're doing right here? We're doing next to the highway. The highway is flying right now, so I feel a little bit bad that we're not on it. Yes. <laughs> My speed limit's 40, there's yes. a 65. <laughs> this is such Ooh, a Ooh, the airport's Cargo Road. I've never seen Cargo Road, I've only heard about it. I think I read about it in a book. I can't really see. I uh, rounded it out. Shane is, Shane is really, really freaked out by roundabouts, which is just so bizarre to me. I hate them. The thing I don't like about roundabouts is the unpredictability. Roundabouts are based upon the assumption that all people are logical. So is every other traffic. capable of Improvising. Making, <laughs> making smart decisions in the moment without being told what to do. No one that I've ever met is capable of doing Are that. Are you kidding? On a consistent basis. Me? You, maybe. Thanks. Half the time. Whoa, is this a festival? Actually, why? Because you see a moon bounce? Veterans Memorial Park. I see a ton of things. <gasps> I see a ton of things. A concert? Wow. <gasps> Do you hear film it? Film it, film it, film it. <laughs> So we've just come upon this in Shane's uh, amazing uh -huh. way home. I'm not right, right or left. Right, right. I'm going right because we can't go that way. No problem, no problem. <laughs> Was that a part of your plan? No. Mm. Obviously not. Alright, maybe that's the last bit you can. We finally got home. The, dire finally. the directions weren't too bad and we dropped the car off and all of our things and now we're going to a restaurant for dinner. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Should we get over there? I guess so. It's a 25 minute wait for a table and there's outdoor seating and we're by all of them. So in order to hurry them up, I'm sitting here moaning about how hungry I am. I wish they had a table. I'm so hungry. Uh, uh, oh, they're not even done. They're really done. Help, damn, help, damn. Your toenails are really something. In the transactional understanding of relationships, one only. What do I receive in return for this? One only gives what they receive. So next Shane has to trim my toenails. Which is gonna take a really long time. Is this what you get off on? You don't know what I'm gonna do with those clippings. <laughs> Give him a kiss. Shane. I know. It's Shane. just a little bit uh... Oh, that's <laughs> close your mouth. Probably isn't going I need a uh, I need a consent form. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just made the most perfect s'more.